Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. Gene Rain, fun mechanics, awful everything else. Gene Rain is a little more than three and a half hour long cover based third person shooter where you play as three different characters. I wish I could tell you what was going on with the story, but I can't. The music is overbearing, drowning out all the voice acting, but it's something about a diary and a death squad. Thankfully, if you mess with the audio options a little bit, you can hear bits of the voice acting in some cutscenes and during gameplay. Unfortunately, these are probably probably seemingly the least important moments in the story, and the little voice acting you get here sounds stiff and robotic. There were times I was almost convinced it was all done in a text-to-speech program, and it honestly probably could be. Gameplay-wise, the shooting is actually pretty fun, enemies aren't too spongy, and battles are challenging enough for this to not feel like a mindless slog. You have four weapons with you at all times, and you can unlock more weapons and upgrade your weapons with the cores you pick up off of enemies. You're able to roll out of the way, you can do a melee attack. Sadly, there's no jump but all three of these characters who you'll be going back and forth between in the story have their own abilities that run on an energy meter. One character calls in a flying turret, one has a shield, the other can run in slow motion. The infuriating thing though is that while there are fun mechanics here, the balancing of these mechanics is garbage and some even feel broken. For starters, this is again a cover based shooter, but there's so many times during battle where peeking over cover to shoot, my character would automatically stand up instead of crouch back down into cover after a released aim. Obviously this led to many frustrating deaths and confusion. There's also an auto aim snapping going on here, which I don't mind in games. It's so bad here though because the game is essentially choosing which character to snap to, not the character closest to your line of sight. Really frustrating during difficult boss battles. But the single most frustrating part is that running is tied to your energy bar, meaning while you have the turret out for example, you can't run. You also can't deploy the turret while running, which would have made for some hectic and fun gameplay moments. These moves need a full charge to activate, it just stops the game from being as fun as it possibly could be. But the world is pretty bland and uninteresting. The game really feels like some fan created map from an online mode of a random third person shooter. Because the mechanics are here, the shooting is smooth, the gameplay is fun, it's just that everything surrounding it is awful. Outside the campaign there is a survival wave based defensive war mode but I beat it my first try and not much of a challenge there. There's really nothing to see here in Gene Rain. The developers again have it down in the gameplay and the pacing but they need to go back to the drawing board when it comes to world building and storytelling because this feels like a lazy asset flip with weird audio issues throughout. I give Gene Rain a 3.5 out of 10. If you played Gene Rain, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. No wonder. We're just talking about why there are so many enemies. Maybe we should back to the headquarter? You go back first. We have seen the tower. We are gonna deal with them. Well, I go back to ask Emily. Okay. Well, that's the reason why there are so many enemies. Hey, what's up? I have a bad feeling there is somebody following us. Relax, buddy. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.